It's week 92 of Zerd, so we're going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 92 of Zerd. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway for the month of June 2019, then sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and let me know what types of videos you want to see on the channel. Also, a link to the giveaway will be in the description box below. So, Zer is located on Nessus by the Watcher's Grave, and most likely he is uh, here again on the ship. So let's go ahead and find out what he has this week. Zer! What's up, dude? I'm gonna pull up a chair, man. So, like always, we're gonna start with the left-hand side. We have the Weapon of the Week, which is the Queen Breaker, which is an exotic linear fusion rifle. Then we have Knucklehead Radar for the Hunters, the ACDO Feedback Fence for the Titan, as well as the Geomag Stabilizers for the Warlock. Let's go ahead and start with the Weapon of the Week. Treasure perk on this is Wire Rifle, which fires a long range blinding bolt. Then we have marksman sights, combat sights, enhanced battery, uh, hip fire grip, quick draw, as well as fitted stock. And it has an ornament now, but I don't have one. But it doesn't come with ornaments. So if you guys don't have this, definitely go ahead and grab this. It's definitely a good PvEVP um, exotic. And I say PvEVP, because I feel that it is better in Gambit than it is regular PvE, but you can also use this in PvP. And I actually like it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a tier two in PvP as well as Gambit PvE. Um, and probably a tier 2.5 to even a tier three in regular PvP. Uh, PvE, sorry. And this thing's amazing. Definitely go ahead and grab it. Um, if you guys don't know the tier skill, I will put it in the description box below. I do apologize um, for not saying that ahead of time. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. Next is the Knucklehead Radar for the Hunter. Treasure perk on this is Upgraded Sensor Pack, which provides radar while you're aiming. Enhanced radar while crouching. Then we have uh, Light Reactor, Ashes to Assets, Precision Weapon Targeting, uh, Grenade Launcher Reserves, as well as Special Ammo Finder. And this actually does have a uh, ornament and it's called Predestination. I actually like the ornament better. However, it is, uh, it is a future war called Ornament. So if you are one of those people who heavily depend on your radar, I guess go ahead and grab this. It's good. But if you are one of those skilled people who do not need to worry about the radar in order to get your kills, then definitely don't even worry about this. I am going to go ahead and rank this a tier 2.5 in PvP specifically for every game mode that is not comp or comp like and in comp well it's probably just gonna get a tier 4 because you really don't need this maybe even a tier 5 uh, as for PvE you really don't need it there either because you can actually see all the enemies so yeah probably gonna get a tier 4 to 5 in PvE as well so if you care about your radar and you depend on it, like your, you know, life is so life threatening, definitely go ahead and pick this up. Um, but if you don't care about the radar and you actually fight because you have skill, don't worry about it. Next, we have the feedback fence. And try to perk on this is Fury Conductors, which melee kills restore, ex uh, melee kills store explosive defensive energy. Then we have fastball, kinetic weapon loader, Power Weapon Loader, uh, Grenade Launcher, Scavenger, as well as Heavy Ammo Finder. And this has ornament called Endless Loop. And that's what Endless Loop looks like. Looks pretty cool. So if you guys don't have this, definitely go ahead and grab it. It is definitely good in PvE and PvP. I will give it a tier two in both. Uh, next, we have the Geomax Stabilizers, which in terms of perk on this is close enough, which gives you extended chaos reach. Sprinting can add super energy. Then we have Dynamo, 
uh, kinetic dexterity, oversized weapon dexterity, primary ammo finder, as well as special ammo finder. And this does have an ornament, but I do not have it. If you guys don't have this, definitely go ahead and grab it. It is definitely really good for your Stormcaller in PvE as well as PvP, so it will definitely get a tier 2 in both of those. Next, we do have your consumables, which is Five of Swords, and this gives you your Nightfall uh, Challenge card. And then we have your uh, invitations, and I don't even know if this still matters because I still haven't done this. So, some people might have this one, some people might not, I don't know. And last but not least, we have your wonderful Faded Engram for 97 Legendary Shards. If you guys do not have one of these exotics, go ahead and pick them up because you do have a chance to get one of these inside your Faded Engram if you do not already have it. Do not be like these spikes. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.